Well, I'm not concerned at all. I think, you know, Mr. Hillish and Dave have given me a lot of nice pieces to this puzzle. Uh, it's my job along with the coaches to figure out how to put that puzzle all together. I don't think that's going to be an issue whatsoever. It's a pretty nice problem to have. Um, I think Miguel Cabrera is going to play third base. Make that perfectly clear today. Uh, obviously, we're going to start in spring training. Uh, I feel very comfortable with it. I think that we need to, um, you know, right from the get-go, shoot straight from the hip. Uh, he's not going to have the agility defensively, most likely, that Brandon Inch had. But, uh, you know, you give up a little something, but you get a whole lot in return. Uh, we're, we're going back to the old-fashioned baseball. we got big-time power on the corners. And not only with Prince and, and Miguel, but also potentially with, with uh, Brandon Bosch and Delman Young. So putting a puzzle together is not going to be a problem. Whenever you have great players, it's a real nice problem to have. And everybody's already asked me all about the pressure. If you can't handle it by the time you're 67, you don't belong in the business. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Uh, I, I think, uh, but you know, my years um, in Milwaukee also had you know Ryan Braun there as, you know, as well. So I think uh, it's going to be it's going to be awesome to have a, another uh, you know another MVP type player uh, you know to play with. As well as the MVP and Cy Young. <laughs> and remember that his goal ultimately was to win a world championship, and and uh, and certainly Prince is here because involved in this process. When you look at this lineup and you look at the opportunities to play with, I mean Miguel Cabrera. I don't think many people really know it, but those of us who study the metrics and statistics of this game this is one of the greatest players in the game. And you, you couple that with Prince Fielder in the middle of the lineup and you have something not only of quality and unique today, but you have something of historic quality as far as what production you can receive. And certainly when I gave that information to Prince and he looked at this and he evaluated it and he said, when I come here, I've got one of the greatest opportunities in my free agency to win a world championship. And that was really uh, a dynamic that I think had a lot to do with Mr. I's discussions and the fact that we certainly told the Tigers that, you know, how Prince felt about them.